Last time on Doki Doki Tropical Rain, it was a handkerchief. As I was examining it, something slipped out. I nearly didn't notice, but a silver coloring caught my eye. I bent down to pick it up. It was a razor blade. Oh, oh, Yuri, why do you have this? That's, um, uh, Yuri. I took a step closer and she backed up again. Please, babe. Please. It, it's not anything. It's for my shaving razor. Please, just tell me the truth. She ran down the stairs. Yuri, wait. Please, babe. But she didn't stop. I took a deep breath and ran after her. As I'm running down the stairs, I trip. I slam my head onto the ground at the bottom of the stairs. But I can't stop now. Dazed and confused, I attempt to stand. But the only thing I can make out is the sound of a door slamming. I stepped into a divot and nearly lost my footing. But I carried on. As soon as I hear her hear crying, I knew I had come to the right place. Now, where is... Yuri? Oh no. Oh no. I think we've done goofed. Look at her. We definitely need a lot of explaining to do. Literally. Yuri. Her exposed arm was covered head to toe in fresh cuts. I... I didn't mean... I didn't mean to go this far. I... I walked up to her and got on my knee. Yuri, it's okay. No, no, no. It isn't. It's not okay. It's not okay. She began to shake and cry harder. Two girls I've made cry today. Cool. I shook my head. I took a step towards Yuri and she flinched. I got closer, and before she could back away again, I grabbed her arm. Or at least, her elbow. It was the only place I could see that wasn't all jacked up. I began to look it over. The thing was practically torn to pieces. I grabbed a nearby knife and threw it far away. Yuri didn't fight on me on it, so I doubt it was one of her special knives. I turned back to the cuts and for the third time that night had to hold back my puke. I couldn't do it here. It was not the time. Yuri needed me. I turned to her and looked her in the eyes. I decided to come out swinging. How long has this been going on, Yuri? She hesitated but answered. Five years? I did a double take. Until I looked back at her arms. Past the current cuts, I could see layers upon layers of scarring. That made sense. I sighed and sat down next to her. I still held on to her, but now I was cuddled up next to her. Uh, why, Yuri? She whimpered. Please tell me. I know it'll be hard, but I have to know. I let go of her arm and grabbed her hand instead. I can't. I can't tell you. You'll think I'm weird and you'll hate me forever and... Never in a million years will I hate you, Yuri. I squeeze. I just... I just can't believe that. She began to cry more. Please, Yuri. You have to trust me. I can't. Why not? Because... You, you went through all my stuff. You found my blade because you were snooping. Her tone became accusatory, but I just took it. Don't retaliate. She doesn't need a fight. I was snooping, yes. And I shouldn't have. So I own, so I own up to that being my mistake. But I also don't care. Yuri, the only thing I care about you... The only thing I care about right now is you. 
So what if I was snooping? It helped me find a damn razor. It helped me. I clicked my tongue. Well, it's not helping me a lot, but it's helped me know what it is exactly what you're going through. I squeezed her hand again. I'm fully ready to be here for you, Riri. You just have to trust me enough to tell me why. What? But I'll just keep listening and supporting you and cherishing you. That's the plan, baby. She smiled. Ah, she's happy. I, I'm sure she is. Look at that smile. There it is. I moved a strand of hair out of her eyes and smiled. You're so much prettier when you're smiling. She giggled. So? She sighed. Uh, okay, I... Just please don't hate me. Never in my life. I... I use it as a way to... Control my emotions. When you feel sad, anxious, nervous, overly happy, overly sad and anxious, I cut. It just gives you this rush, this feeling of pure euphoria. It's terrible and it hurts, but the adrenaline felt so worth it. Uh, adrenaline? How? Like when you're running? You've been on a roller coaster before, right? Yeah, but... Oh. Is she nodded? Like that. Makes sense. The rush is... A feeling of both fear and excitement. And it kind of resets your body. When it's all over, you've calmed down. Which is what gives me that feeling of control. She turned to face me. Do, do you get what I'm saying? I am lost in thought. So it, it's like a reset button? In a way, yes. A reset, button, a reset button for the emotional struggles? If I'm following you correctly? She nodded. Well, that's a new per perspective, honestly. I didn't know it worked all that way. I knew it was kind of a physical pain to get rid of the emotional deal. But I didn't know how much it had <laughs> but I didn't know it had that much to it. I see it differently. Uh we still have some questions. I'm sorry if this is too personal, but here goes. How did it start, Yuri? Y you said you've been doing it for a while, but what gave you the idea? Well, I, I read about it. I saw it in one of my books, a character. She, she did it the way I do it, as a way to escape her problems. Oh, no. And normally, books don't influence me that much. But, you see, at the time, I was still grieving over the death of my parents, along with being bullied at school. Having no friends, etc. I squeezed her hand. Basically, life sucked, Finn. So I saw that and I tried it. I had a lot of knives, so it wasn't that hard of a task. At first, it hurt. It hurt and I didn't like it. But I tried again. I tried it again because I... Because I needed something. Uh... What did you need? I needed a way to... to... She sniffled. She was starting to cry again. I needed a way to control my spiraling life. I needed a way to control everything that was going wrong. Her voice cracked. Eventually, it worked. And that was the worst day of my life. It quickly became a habit. One I couldn't stop doing. Every time a major issue came up, cut. Every time a minor issue came up, cut. Every time I met someone new, I was scratching my arms. It's horrible. And I hate it. She wiped her eyes and chuckled darkly. And you know, it's funny. I got the habit from a book. 
one of the things I cherish the most in this world is what made my life a living hell. I kissed her hand. I'm sorry you had to experience all of this, Yuri. Really? She sighed. I just... Do you think I'm a freak, Finn? I chuckled. I'm not kidding. I stopped. No, Yuri, I don't. Nothing about you makes me think you're a freak. Don't lie. Finn, look at me. Look at my body. She ran a hand along her cut arm and winced. I've... I've destroyed it. A perfect vessel. Ruined. All because a little girl couldn't handle her emotions. Because a little girl couldn't put down the book, she was clearly too young to be reading. Yuri. I interrupted, speaking softly. You're not a freak. Yes, I am. Yuri, this is where trusting me is gonna have to come in again. Look, I have to word this carefully. Your methods are unorthodox. You're not a freak. But I... They're so... I'm so... I'm so ugly. No, you're not. You're not a freak and you're not ugly. You're beautiful. Do you think the self-help... Self-harm cuts all over my arms and legs are beautiful? I didn't say that. I looked, I looked down at her arm and kissed it. But you... I don't think the cuts are beautiful. I think you're beautiful. Cuts be damned. This? I motion at the cuts. This isn't healthy, Yuri. It's not safe. But it won't stop me from, from cherishing you. I like you for you, Yuri. Which means I... I... Okay. How... It means I have to accept your flaws, too. And heck, half of the stuff you view as flaws, I don't. Half of the stuff that you hate is the has half the stuff I, that I adore. Because I adore you, Yuri. She sniffled. You're the light of my life. And nothing will ever change that. Uh, because I... Do I do it? Is this a good time? I definitely is. You should do it, man. Because... What? Fuck it. Because I love you. Uh. You... You love me? I do. I... I love everything about you, Yuri. I love your sweet personality, your intelligence, your interests, your sense of humor, your shyness, your sharpness, your elegance, your beauty. Yuri, I... I'm crazy about you. Only in this mod. I... I know this confession is a little unrelated. I just need you to know. I need you to know that you're not a freak. Because you're Yuri. You're the woman I love. Even if you're a freak, who cares? Because I'll love you anyway. I love you, Yuri. You hear me? I love you. I'll always be there for you. Through thick and thin. Because I love you. I'm caught off by something pressing into my lips. Oh ho ho, this music! Oh, hey, let's go, Yuri fans. And yeah, you can see the, the cuts and everything, but no, focus on this. Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Hot oh, damn. Once again, the girl's taken the initiative. Dang it. But anyway, I heard the fireworks go off. What's happening? Like a scene from a movie was happening. Uh, all I felt was bliss. Pure, unadulterated bliss. Yuri's lips are soft, and though she's inexperienced, I can tell she's trying her best. I'm inexperienced too, though, so who cares? But this is just perfect. Even after I, even after everything that happened tonight, I 
feel like this made it all up. Hmm. I, I made it in life. Everything was really going to be okay. It, it's, it's everything's going to be a okay. Yuri pulled away and smiled. Me, I love you too, you weirdo. She loves me back. This truly is perfect. Uh, we begin kissing Melon once more. After a few moments, we pulled back again. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I brought my hand down and accidentally touched her arm. She winced and I frowned. Look, let's... let's get going, alright? Let's call an ambulance. No. I jumped slightly. No? No. If you call an ambulance, they'll most definitely call my aunt. She can't know. Nobody can know. Wait, she... she doesn't know? Uh, no. She doesn't. And what do you mean nobody can know? What about, like, a therapist or something? Nobody can know. Uh... Well, um... If you say so, then sure. I mean, of course. Personal thing. It's a, uh... Emotional ailment... Emotional... Well, whatever it was, I forgot the word I'm looking for. Still, uh... I understand your wishes, so I shouldn't tell anyone. And of course, I'll keep it as a secret. I ain't gonna snitch on no one. How about I'll just take you home and treat those then? Is that okay? She switched back. I would love nothing more. Uh, I smiled. Well, alright then. I kissed her on the cheek and stood up. I gave her my hand and she used it to stand up. And we began to walk back hand in hand. Uh, holy heck, what a night. It is. <laughs> huh. In the bathroom, Yuri stared at her bandaged wrists. It was something she had done many times before, but this time it felt different. The bandages left felt less dirty, less gross. She felt like she was less of a like less of a freak. The bandages, they felt like they meant something good. Instead of deceit and pain, they felt warmth and love. She felt giddy upon thinking about that. He loved her. She smiled. He loved her. He loved her. He lo Stop. Uh. She looked in the mirror. He loves you, but you don't deserve, but you need to deserve his love. She grabbed her razor blades and old toothbrush and tossed them in the gar garbage. Let's <laughs> say garage, what, why? That's, that's not a good way to throw your shit. We're destroying your body. No more. No more destroying the person he loves. It'll be hard. I know it will. Uh, but he said he'll be there for me. Through thick and thin. Uh, and she trusted him. She shut off the light and left the bathroom. She walked through the dark house and into the living room. It was pitch black, but she knew he was out here. He had given her the bed to sleep on. Uh... Very chivalrous, but she didn't care. She... Hey, Finn? She needed something. Uh, uh, yeah? I said, slowly waking up. Dang, it's late. Can you come sleep with me? I don't want to be alone. Not after what happened tonight. Sure. How could I turn that down? I love cuddling with that woman. <laughs> for you, Yuri fans. For you. All for you. Of course. We ain't gonna leave the um the purple princess hanging and uh, get it. That's for Sayori. But still, I have to be cool. I walked up to her and put my arm around her. Wanna sleep out here or in the bed? Bed, please. Sweet. We walked throughout the house, my hand around her waist was blushing furiously, of course, as was she, because we both knew what was coming. But we were both pretty dang happy about it. 
I opened up the door to my bedroom and walked over to the bed. Yuri climbed in first and I climbed in after. The blankets were cold, but I wrapped my arms around Yuri and instantly felt warm. Perfect. Yuri. Uh, yes? Uh, I love you. I always will. Uh, I love you too. She gave me a peck on the lips and held me tighter. Uh, even if I have some shitty days here and there, life is pretty dang good. I slowly drifted to sleep. Sweet dreams, you two. Chapter 7. Lovely Outing. So far so good. I'm, I'm really liking it and I am got to the good part. As to an Eternal said in the comments, shout out to, to him. My eyes fluttered open as I slowly awoke. I felt well rested. Along with a very prominent warmth. Warmth with a strong sense of security. And Glob, if that wasn't one of the best things I've had ever felt. Though, along with this warmth and security, came a mouth full of purple hair and a nose full of coconut. Uh, can't say I didn't like it, cause it's her scent. Of course. But what spurred it on? Was I the one that asked Yuri to get in bed with me, or did she? What happened yesterday that... I love you. Yeah, oh, I love you and I always will. Right. I pulled my head away from Yuri's to get a good look at her. She was turned over, but she seemed to be sleeping peacefully. Good. I pulled up the blanket and looked at her arm. I pulled back her sleeve. Bandaged. So, it seems that part wasn't a dream. Awesome. I pulled her sleeve back inside. That wasn't awesome, if my sarcasm wasn't apparent enough. I put the blanket back down and focused my attention back on Yuri. I began to run a hand through her hair. Oh, Yuri, Yuri. I chuckled softly but then frowned. What are we going to do about you? Last night she made it pretty clear that nobody can know. But that's ridiculous. Therapy is the best option for you. You can talk to a professional and get the help you need. But I can't force you to do anything. If you don't want to go to therapy, then it's completely off the table. But what then? If he doesn't get if he doesn't want to get better, I will have to push her to try. But what if she does want to get better? Just without therapy? Guess we'll work our options on the way through and see how that goes. Uh Ugh. I can't make my own assumptions on like that. I'm practically thinking about alternate universes here. <laughs> yeah, just like this mod and the other mods I played. But I hopefully sure that Yuri will be okay in this one. <laughs> With or without therapy, but we'll see about that. I'll have to ask Yuri about her true thoughts. Maybe when she wakes up. But for now, I kissed Yuri on the head and held it. After a few seconds, I pulled back. Uh... I think I'm just gonna enjoy this morning. I snuggled in deeper, but then she began to stir. Oh, come on. Finn, is that you? He squirmed slightly. Yeah. Good. She turned around to face me and snuggled back into place. I smiled. Morning, babe. Good morning. She gave me a kiss on the nose. Uh... Oh, I, uh, what are you thinking about? Breakfast. I was not thinking about breakfast. <laughs> I want breakfast. Thinking Sayori. <laughs> but it couldn't hurt. Hmm. What kind of breakfast? How about... Pancakes? She shook her head. Eggs? She shook her head again? Corned beef hash? Corned beef hash? She raised an eyebrow. What's that? Now we're getting somewhere. It's, well, as the name implies, corned beef and potatoes. Oh, well, I'm sure it will be good. Corned beef hash! 
That would be a very interesting one to try out. Never heard of that one, but I'm sure that would be very, very delicious. She wrapped her arms around me and exaggerated her breath in. Also, such a shame she doesn't like pancakes, but I was gonna say bacon pancakes, but still, how dare you? I can smell it already. Want me to make it now, don't you? Yes. Fine. I slowly sat up, but Yuri's grip remained strong. Huh? Yuri, if you want me to make breakfast, you're yeah, gonna have to let me go. No. Fine, no breakfast. She let go. I chuckled. Stay in bed, I'll bring it up here. Ah, uh, thank you. I'm so tired. She wasn't usually that cuddly. Or that tired. Last night really got to her, huh? My smile disappeared. Oh. I made myself sad. I clicked my tongue and fully got out of my bed. I kept my pajamas on because heck, it's my own house and it's a day off. Right? Well, if it isn't, I guess me and Yuri are just gonna have to skip school. It's not exactly a good thing to be doing, but I'm not going to ignore what happened yesterday. That, I feel, is worthy of some time off. Love you. I said and decided whether or not I should brush my teeth. Love you too. I smiled. She was probably blushing up a storm now. I yawned and walked towards my bedroom door. Brush your teeth. Thing. Uh. First of all, why would you brush your teeth first, then eat breakfast? I mean, the freshness and birthness would, you know, disappear after you eat. Or will disappear after you eat. So, I'd um. Well, depends on your uh, on your uh, your routine. If you're going to eat breakfast before or after brushing your teeth, but I advise brushing your teeth after you eat breakfast. That's the way to go. Do I have any corned beef? <sighs> Crap, not sure if I do. Or just forget what I said because I know some of you guys are going to you know at me in the comments. But still, eh, I don't know anymore. I have a can. I have cans of corned beef hash, but that's kind of lame. I wanted to make it. Have the meal be special. But of course, I didn't have corned beef. Who the heck just buys corned beef? I probably have potatoes. But you just can't eat hash. Ugh. I grabbed a can and pulled out a pan from the cupboard. Cooking it in a can should help it look less like dog food. As the food began to sizzle, I stood around, steering occasionally. Uh. Well, this is boring. I like cooking. Heck, I adore cooking. It's one of my favorite hobbies. But this... This is not cooking. This is stirring and waiting. Blah. After a few more minutes, I turned off the stove and put the food on a plate. It no longer looked like dog food. That's a victory in my book. I walked back upstairs and into my bedroom. I flicked on the lights. Ugh. Sorry about that, but I brought breakfast. She sat up quickly. It smells lovely. I chuckled. It smells like cooked meat, you flatterer. But I'm glad you were happy about it. I walked over and sat on the bed, handing the plate off to her. I didn't bring any condiments because I wasn't sure if you wanted any. I'm not the biggest fan of condiments, so you made the right choice. Okay, good. So? Oh, right. I watched Yuri as she slowly put the fork to her mouth. She paused. Dang. You're not eating anything? Eh, I will later. But you go first. Alright then. She put the fork in her mouth. Mm. Ah, she actually ate it. People really will eat anything. Just kidding. It may look like dog food, but god, but glob dang did I wish I was the one eating it. After a few minutes of silence, Yuri doesn't like to talk with her mouth full, she's respectable like that, and put down the fork. That was really good, Finn. I have to, I have to say, I was skeptical, but I'm glad it was as good as, as he said it was. Score. 
She wiped her mouth to the napkin I gave her and put the plate off to the side. So, do we have any kind of day plan today? If not, I'm perfectly content to just lounge around. If you are, uh, okay with it, that is... It is your house. Sure, you can hang out here. I chuckled. If I said no, that would make me an asshole. That's not true. You have the right to say no to me, Finn. I know, but... But I don't want to. Stay here with me. I enjoy your company. She blushed at the comment, but she smiled. Why do you enjoy my company exactly? I smiled at her attempt, but I played into it. Because I love you, Yuri. She giggled. In that case, I think I can stick around for a little bit longer. I'm glad. in with Yuri. Not bad at all. Well, it's time to chillax as well in the next episode.